listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, June 27th, 2023. Today is also the feast day of St. Cyril of Alexandria, a man who lived in the late 300s, early 400s. And we're going to talk about his story today and the great contributions that he made to the church. But first, please join me in praying the Come Holy Spirit prayer that we too might receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and become saints ourselves. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. So yesterday we talked about St. Jose Maria Escriva and Opus Dei. Now he lived in the 1900s. We are now going all the way back to pretty much the beginning of the church to the three and four hundreds to talk about St. Cyril of Alexandria. Now, a little bit of context. So roughly for the first 300 years after Christ ascended back into heaven, Christians were terribly persecuted in the Roman Empire. They were arrested and killed, and the government did everything they could to force Christians to renounce their faith and make sacrifices to pagan gods. However, in roughly the year 300, the Saint Helena actually brought the faith to her son, Constantine, who was the emperor of the Roman Empire. And after a victorious battle was won under the sign of the cross, he not only freed all of the Christians in prison, he ended the persecution and he made the Roman Empire Christian. And that was a huge turning point. So Cyril of Alexandria lived shortly after that. So he lived in this time when all of the sudden Christians weren't being persecuted. And this was a very good but confusing time in the church. So Cyril of Alexandria, he lived in Egypt, in Alexandria, Egypt. He was very devout. He lived the first part of his life as a hermit. Now, a hermit lives all by themselves in almost all constant prayer, praying and fasting. But his uncle, who happened to be a patriarch, now the word patriarch is similar to a bishop. But since he lived in Alexandria, this was the eastern part of the church. Western part was around Rome. Eastern was over closer to Asia. And so his uncle was sort of like a bishop and he convinced him to leave his hermitage and come out and preach the gospel because Cyril of Alexandria was brilliant. Unfortunately, Cyril of Alexandria and his uncle, they weren't perfect. They really loved Jesus, but sometimes they got carried away in defending the truth. And in fact, although Cyril of Alexandria is a doctor of the church because of his contributions to what we still believe today, he also made some mistakes. In particular, he made a mistake when it came to another saint that lived at the time. His name was Saint John Christendom. St. John Christendom was a brilliant preacher. We still quote him today. If you read the catechism, he is quote all over in there because he just had this brilliant way of speaking about the faith, in particular about the gospel. In fact, his name means golden tongued. And yet Cyril of Alexandria thought that he was preaching something that wasn't true. And he had John Christendom exiled where he was treated so poorly that he died. So he wasn't perfect, but he was very prayerful and he was brilliant. So the big thing that Cyril of Alexandria defended and really taught so strongly is he taught that Jesus was the begotten son of God, but that this this begotting or this becoming a son, that it happened outside of time. 
Now, at the time, there was a heresy. Now, heresy is a false teaching, and they can be very damaging because you can understand if you are learning something incorrect about God, then you are not going to understand the faith. You are it's it's terrible. Heresy is something that the church has always fought against. And Cyril of Alexandria was a warrior fighting against heresy. And there was many misunderstandings about Jesus Christ. Some people thought that he was like less than God the Father, that he wasn't quite equal to God the Father. Now we know that that is wrong, that that is a heresy that God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit are three parts of the same God, that there is no way for one to be greater than the other. And so to explain this, Cyril of Alexandria taught clearly that Jesus was begotten by God the Father outside of time. It's not like one existed and then another did, that they... (laughs) This is very confusing to explain, but that this happened outside of time. And he also was a big promoter of a very important Marian title. And that title is Theotokos, Theotokos. And this means God bearer, that Mary brought Jesus to the world, that she participated in this action. Cyril of Alexandria explained that Jesus was begotten in the flesh of the Virgin Mary. Now, you can understand why there was false teaching, why there was confusion during this time. The faith was new. People were being able to talk about it freely in public for the first time. And these are really complicated topics. Talking about the Trinity has always stumped Christians. It's something that I think we have to just accept the fact that we'll never really understand because it's it's beyond what we can understand. But Cyril of Alexandria taught clearly that Jesus is God, that he is in no way lower or second to God the Father. And because he taught so clearly, the faith was able to pass from one generation to the next without error. And I want to be very clear that although Cyril Alexandria was probably very smart, gifted at writing and speaking, he did not come to this truth all on his own. We know that God sent the Holy Spirit to guide the church. And since the very beginning, since Pentecost, the Holy Spirit has been guiding the church. And one important way that the Holy Spirit guides the church is that the Holy Spirit saves us from error. So since Cyril of Alexandria was made a patriarch and a bishop's primary role is to teach, he was able to teach with authority what is true. Okay, so Cyril of Alexandria, a little bit of a complex character, but an incredible teacher and doctor of the faith. And so Sprouts, today, let's just pray that the Holy Spirit comes down on us a little bit more, that we can stand in truth and be guided by this Holy Spirit that has been guiding the church since the very beginning. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Hey there, Sprouts. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. If you're looking for some fun activities to do on hot afternoons or raining mornings, check out our Catholic Sprouts resource library. It is packed with things ready to be printed and used, fun activities, coloring sheets, games, lots and lots of stuff, all free, all ready for you. Just check the notes for this podcast episode to get the link. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.